Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Mother. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and got the fourth melody at the Rosemary Mansion. It was haunted and yeah, it seemed like we were going to die, but I don't think we ran into any encounters there, so we got pretty lucky. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go through Magicant here and I'll cut back when I'm in Thanksgiving because that's where something important's going to happen. Okay, we're back, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the hotel real quick, or I guess the department store, and we're going to go ahead and use the ATM card, and we're going to withdraw, let's say $200, and we also need to make sure we have at least 10 spots open in our bag here. Okay, so we got so we got enough spaces. Now, now that we've done that, we're gonna head north to the Santa Claus station. I'll see you guys when I'm up there. Okay, I'm up here, and instead of going onto a train, we're actually gonna go around the train tracks. Gonna head up here and go down here. I'm not being, I'm being super descriptive because there's not much to say while I'm just traversing through this. Okay, so now we're heading east. We have a ride at the Yucca Desert, or Yucca, maybe? However it's pronounced, it's spelled Y-U-C-C-A. I'll put it up on screen. And you can just tell me how you pronounce it down in the comments below, I guess. So, the first thing we want to do is there's these cactuses here, and there's one that's a bit out of the ordinary. Right here, this cactus seems to have a face on it. We talk to it. Something is speaking into Nintendo's mind. You know what that means? We use telepathy. The cactus sang. For some reason, it sang. <laughs> Continue to sing with the emotion. Weirdness aside, we just got the fifth melody already. Even though just like a couple minutes ago we got the fourth melody. But that's not the only thing that we want to do here. If we fumble around in the desert for a bit, we'll eventually come across a little spot here. I can't believe I found it, but there's this guy. I laid landmines in, I laid landmines in this desert during the war before last. So if this is 1988, eh, I don't know much about wars, so... Either way, this guy seems pretty old. I thought I dug them all up, but I can't seem to find the last one. Best be careful out there. Also, we can talk to him. Oh, do you want to ride in my plane? Yes, please. And we have a couple of different courses that we can take. If we take course A, $15. And he gives us ticket stubs. If we have 10 in a row, then, well not in a row, but if we have 10 stubs, then we can go ahead and ride his tank. So that's why I said, hey, have at least 10 inventory spots open. So this is basically just a tour around the desert to show you what to do. He circles around the cactus like, hey, you fool, look at this thing. He glides over the uh, coast here. I really like that shade of blue that the water is. My favorite shades of blue are that water and the shade of blue that King Dedede is in Kirby 64. Also, those are some ruins that we'll have to check out in a little bit. So now we want to go ahead and take the next course. We just want to go through that bit of dialogue again. This course is obviously different, first place we stop by. Flying pretty close to those mountains. <laughs> yeah, certainly going a long way over here, following this river. And, hey, I can see my house from here. <laughs> and here's the zoo. So yeah, we're revisiting all of these old places, which I really like this because it shows you that it's a small world, you know? I think that was the, uh, Sweet Little Factory. 
This looks really weird. Uh, but yeah, it just shows you it's a really small place. This canonically takes place in America. So... I don't know, yeah, it's just... This game is really good at world building. Like ten of them and you'll earn a ride in my tank. Final course that we're gonna go through. Did I collect cor did I select course C? Because this looks pretty similar to No, cause they cause the plane circled around the uh cactus in Course A. So never mind. Ooh, it seems we've got a new building over there. Got some paths. Forget which town that's a part of. Those little paths right there. I'll have to check my map. Got some train tracks over here. And we're back at the desert. So, that would have been a part of either Valentine or Easter. I think it was a part of Valentine. Whichever it was, it was named after a holiday. So now we have to go through uh, Corsair again, because that's just the, uh... That's just the cheapest one. And so I'll go through this and I'll cut past it. Since I don't want you guys to, like, sit through that again. Okay, so now that we got the 10 ticket stubs, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. We're gonna present one of the stubs to him. Oh, you collected 10 ticket stubs. Alright then, I'll lend you my tank. Seems so happy to hear that. So yeah. We get a tank! Unfortunately, we can't go on grass. It's just the desert part here. I meant to say sand, but I couldn't come up with the four-letter word, so I said the desert part. We want to head all the way east over here. If you remember those ruins, there's actually something over there that's preventing us from getting there. So we're going to go ahead and use this tank to force our way in there. It's somewhere near this weird patch of grass over here. Maybe it's over here... I don't remember. I probably should have studied up on the map because you can get lost a lot in Yucca Desert. It's probably pronounced Yucca, but saying Yucca is funnier. Maybe it's over here behind the patch, the like area of grass. I think I'm close. Here it is! I was a bit off. Well, not a bit off, I was a lot off, but... Anyways, we try to go through here, and suddenly... R7037 suddenly attacked. We'll be seeing a lot of these types of robots later in the game. It attacks us, and the tank reflects it back. So the can- uh, not the cannon. The tank is a lot more awesome than a- than a- I'm gonna stop trying to say that sentence, because I suck at it. I was just trying to say, tank good. Uh, but yeah, we could go ahead and destroy this robot with a couple shots from the cannon. One more shot should destroy him. Looks like he destroyed himself. The tank was... Unfortunately, we lose the tank, so... That sucks. Welcome to the Monkey Caverns. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. All I know is that there's a lot of monkeys in it. Be careful. A lot of the monkeys here like to lie. I'll keep that in mind. Wait a second. How do we know if you're lying? How are you doing? Got some good information. You interested? Sure. 
Well, basically, treasure your friends. That's all I have to say. That one's true. Did I just say that one's a true? I'm tired. <laughs> I think you'll meet a new friend in a city with an ocean view. Straight. Just walk straight. The truth is somewhere straight ahead. How long has it taken you to get this far? Oh, I just thought I'd ask. Well, I'll go ahead and put it up on screen how long the series has taken. Uh, that doesn't count all of the edits and stuff like that, but... I'll just put it up on screen how long the playlist is. Turn back. Or if you don't feel like it, just keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's actually pretty funny. You managed to catch me. You're really something. You're something nice for you. What did we get? Speed capsule. Here it is, and you might not be able to spot it in the blackness, but here's a penguin. Boy, did I mess up. I must have made a serious mistake to wind up here. And I think if we go down here, and should be something in this general vicinity that is of importance to us. I think it's up here. There we go. It's another one of these caves with the shell things. Gotta go ahead and use PSI Telepathy. The God's Tale. We don't need the uh, book this time, the diary. So now I'm gonna go he through here one more time and then wherever we end up, end up, that's going to be the end of the episode. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So we've arrived out there, but this cave doesn't look the same as the one that's outside of Thanksgiving. We're in a completely different place! Remember those train tracks that I was talking about earlier and how it was near this, like, tree-ish place, this sort of forest-like place? That was this place, and like we saw earlier, it leads right to this uh, building over here. We have this guy. With the tracks ruined, the train has stopped running. Quit with all these pesky questions, will ya? Jeez, you're persistent. You're gonna make me cry with all your questions! The, ver the first voice qu crack was not intentional, but the second one was. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to... Easter! I guard this gate. That's not how you spell guard. Oh, who goes there? <laughs> so it's a child, so their text is spelled correct incorrectly. I get ya. Bring my mommy and daddy back, please. So her parents seem to be missing. And Anna's parent was mi Anna's mother was missing. I want milk. Me too, kid. I want milk too. Milk. Milk. Big flying ship to call the grown-ups away. So it seems there's a mystery occurring in this town. For some reason, all the parents are missing. I think I heard the voices of my dad and the others coming from the mountains. But the mountains are way past the town of Valentine. It's too far past it's too far away for me to go there. We have some kids here. Mommy told me this baby has special power. This boy right here. Oh hello there, my name is Tom Garrickson. Introducing myself as my hobby. Finally we have this baby right here. We go ahead and use telepathy on it. I am this baby's consciousness. I have psychic powers just as you do. I possess the ability to teleport. With it, you can return to anywhere you've been before. The baby's mind taught Nintendo how to use the teleport, the teleportation PSI. So with that, with learn, with arriving in Easter, uh, we also got to play around with the tank and stuff like that in Yucca Desert. I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and see what else we can do for the town of Easter. All of the parents seem to have disappeared. Let's see if we can save the parents and get these children their milk. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye Also, a little bonus clip here. I'm gonna show off teleport. Let's go ahead and teleport home. We have to have a long stretch of land. And we're back in Mother's Day.
can go ahead and heal up with our mom. Make you some steak. Also, here's a little bonus thing that I forgot to add in uh, in one of the first episodes. I know that the canonical thing for an intense favorite food is prime ribs and not steak. However, in the GBA version, which is the one that I'm playing on, there were only like 10 letters that you can use for your favorite food, so steak was the one that, it w that would have to suffice. So yeah, don't get mad at me for that. Ow. Hey you goon, go here! <laughs> 